Wow, that was just truly unexpected. A new Chinese company called Moonshot has just released what might be the most powerful open source agentic model ever made, Kimi K2. It's a 1 trillion parameter mixture of experts model with 32 billion active parameters, and it's already turning heads by achieving state-of-the-art results on several key benchmarks, from Sway Bench Verified to Ace Bench, Math, GSM8K, as well as Human Evil and so many others. But what's more impressive is that Kimi K2 is built not just to answer but to act. It's deeply optimized for agentic reasoning and execution, meaning it can handle multi-step tasks, full use, as well as reasoning workflows, rivaling and in some cases surpassing closed source giants like Claude 4 or even Opus 4, DeepSeek, Gemini 2.5 and even GPT 4.1. Now, Moonshot has open source two models. Kimi K2 Base, which is the robust foundation model for researchers and builders to fine tune and customize. But then you also have Kimi K2 Instruct, which is a chat ready version and it's ideal for drop in usage in general purpose and agentic applications. It's delivering fast, reflex grade responses. And overall, this marks a true shift in the landscape as this agent level open source intelligence is no longer a theory. It is a reality now with Kimi K2 with advanced AI autonomy and is now accessible to all. Now, specifically looking at the benchmark scores, you can see that this new Kimi K2 model does really well up against many of these other models that we see from Quen 3 all the way to DeepSeek V3. And it even does a great job in most cases with agentic and competitive coding. Now, it's slightly behind uh, Cloud4 Opus, but this model is significantly cheaper and easier to access while being open source. But in other cases, you can see that it does pretty good up against these other models. In tool use, it's also the same as well as math and STEM. Now, if you want to get more of a detailed understanding of the benchmark scores, you can take a look at it on their blog post. And you can see that this model does really well up against the DeepSeek V3 all the way to Gemini 2.5 Flash as well as Claude for Sonnet. And in most cases, it is outcompeting these other models and all of these benchmarks. Every day, we're drowning in work with documents, reports, slides, spreadsheets. But what if you could do it all in seconds? This is where I'd like to introduce today's video sponsor, Skywork, the AI workspace that transforms a single command into five fully formed content types, documents, spreadsheets, slides, web pages, and even podcasts. What used to take hours now is done in minutes skywork cuts your workload by up to 90 percent which is just insane skywork's deep research engine isn't just fast it's unmatched it uncovers 10 times more source material than genspark or even manis and it delivers rich visual reports not just walls of text and with costs nearly 60 percent lower than open ai it's the smarter choice to actually use Skywork doesn't leave your prompts to chance. With built-in classification cards, it asks smart follow-up questions to fully understand what you actually need before it starts working. Everything Skywork creates is fully traceable. Every chart, every paragraph connects directly to the original source. You don't just get answers, you get answers that you can trust. It adapts to your world, whether you're a student preparing slides or a marketer building reports or even an investor diving into stocks. Whatever your project is, Skywork gets it done faster, smarter, and always tailored to you. So if you want to give it a try, now's the time. Skywork's annual plan is now 15% off, just $19.99 a month. Don't miss this chance to upgrade your workflow. With that thought, I'll leave these links in the description below, but let's get right back into today's video. Now, in terms of the pricing, you can access it through their API currently. And I'm going to be showcasing how you can get a free API using Kilo Code. Now, in terms of the input token pricing, it's listed at 15 cents per 1 million input tokens with cash hit and 60 cents for 1 million input tokens with cash miss. Now, it's also listed at $2.50 for 1 million output tokens. And overall, it's pretty impressive for this model with the current stats that it puts up on various benchmarks while being open source. 
Now, if you're looking to get started, you can easily do so by accessing the Kimi K2 model through Moonshot AI's chatbot. You also have the ability to access the open weights. And if you want to get the actual model card, you can go on to Hugging Face and you can install this locally using Olama or LM Studio. Now, say if you want to access the API, you can do so by going over to their docs. And there is a documentation that showcases how you can easily get started with the Kimi API. Now, say if you're looking to get started for free with the API, you can use something like Kilo Code. And this is where they offer $20 worth of free credits, which is a lot for this pricing that Kimi 2 provides. And in this case, you can use it with any sort of AI coding agent like Root Code or Klein. But now what we're going to be doing is testing out this model to see what it's capable of doing. So what we're going to start off with is a prompt that assesses the model's front end as well as its UI UX component generation capability. In this case, we're having it generate an AI SAS landing page, and we're going to see how well it is in terms of outputting a functional layout of a landing page. So it looks like it has finished generating the HTML file for our front end. We can click on preview and there we go. This is the Cloudflow website for our SaaS landing page. And you can't tell me this looks amazing because this is absolutely a pretty nice intuitive front end, which looks really good. And in my opinion, better than all the generation I've seen from SaaS landing pages being generated with open source models. Overall, it added animations, it got the main flow right, and the landing page looks absolutely amazing. For the next prompt, I'm requesting it to create an SVG representation of a butterfly to see how well it is in terms of outputting, obviously, SVG code, but to see if it's able to symmetrically output the core concepts of a butterfly with SVG. And there we go. It did a great job in doing this. Now, it's just impressive to see that these models are getting smarter, especially the open source ones, which are completely free to access and it's able to output such qualitative code. Next up is an example that Kimi K2 had provided on salary data analysis. This is where it was given a large amount of data on salaries and it was requested to test the effect for remote work ratio on salary and then determine a couple of other factors. And in this case, it was able to use different tools to come out with this example over here, where it's designed a remote work salary impact data analysis, the comprehensive analysis that provides charts and it created the front end as well for this. And it looks absolutely amazing based off the data that was provided. This example, it created a Minecraft clone, which is just insane. This is actually one of the hardest prompts for most models to actually accomplish. We saw this with a Gemini 2.5 Pro, where a lot of people were trying to create a 2D version of Minecraft or even a 3D version, but they failed drastically at it. And this is what it was capable of creating, a 3D Minecraft world that actually is functional. I'm controlling everything right now and it looks pretty decent. If you compare it to something like a Minecraft world, it does look relatively the same. You have mushrooms, you have trees, you have different biomes. Overall, it did a great job with this prompt and it's probably the best generation of a 3D simulation of Minecraft in comparison to other models outputs for it. In conclusion, huge props to the Moonshot team for releasing this new open source gem that is probably the best open source model available today. And it's a great free alternative to many of these proprietary models like GBT as well as the Cloud4, Sonnet, and Opus. It does pretty uh, great in terms of its generation and the output is just truly insane. So I highly recommend that you take a look at this with the links in the description below. There's a lot more to this on their benchmarks. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more as well as within their research paper. So I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily get more information on it. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel. Join our newsletter. Join our Discord. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Like this video. And please take a look at our previous videos so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity. And I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.